Hi everyone. I have a question for you. Why aren't you happy? I thought about asking if you are happy, but then I thought, why aren't you happy? Because that's a, that's a bigger question for me. I, I was just sitting here. I just made the video about being single and I just had this rush through my body. Like, yeah, like of just of such strength and power and love and happiness. And it's because I'm creating that. I'm the more truth I speak, the more I let go of the things that cause me pain, the more I, I, I let go of the things that don't vibrate on the frequency that feels good to me. That creates happiness within myself. Um, we don't realize that we create the unhappiness within ourselves. We blame everyone else and everything else on the outside. The biggest thing people say is I'm not happy because I don't have money. Okay. Well, being unhappy about money doesn't bring money. Try the opposite. Try being happy about what you have, even if it's not monetary money. It's all about gratitude, being humble and within oneself in this moment to be happy, to understand that the, the largest wealth in, of creation is in here, right here. And we can't buy that with money. Yes, we have to live in this spectrum, um, you know, and we have to have money sometimes to do things, but I'm branching even away from that. Um, you know, I, I gave away and sold my possessions last year before I, I, I traveled acro across the country for five months, walking and living in a tent for three of those months with nothing. I, I transcended every possession that I had so that I could transcend from the attachments that I had within my own psyche. That was an extreme way to do things. I didn't realize I was doing it for that reason at that moment, um, which was also to ground myself in these activations that started while I was on the road. So, you know, happiness, self-empowerment is not selfish. It doesn't come from anyone else, only as a reflection to teach ourselves what we can do and not do within ourselves. The humanistic power lies within thought because thought is energy and motion and words cast spells. So if in your mind you're playing a victim role, you're not enhancing your vibration. You're staying in that lower realm. And it's okay to still feel sadness. That, that's the humanistic part of love. It teaches us to ascend. It just means we don't have to hold on to the attachment of it. I still get mad and angry and embarrassed and all of those things. But as soon as I feel it, I'm like, mm, I know what I need to do with that. Like, I'm like my biggest cheerleader. Because no one is going to pat your back like you do. Because no one's patted my back like I do. It's about recognizing self-love, self-empowerment. Even if you don't have what you want right now, it doesn't mean that you don't have it. Because everything is a thought, an illusion, until we make it a reality. So if you want your misery to keep being your life, keep being miserable. But if you want to ascend and be happy, shift within the meditative state of mind of who we are, then, you know, it's time to start letting go. It's real easy to do. If something or someone doesn't feel good to you, time to go. I mean, it, it's really about taking care of yourself. And people will respect you for that. They may lash out at you at first. People don't understand power of self. That's why it seems so foreign and people lash out at us when we take a stand for ourselves. But... But just have the awareness, the understanding that those people don't understand you right now. And they may never. And But it doesn't matter. Because the ones that love us, the ones that are connected to our vibration, they understand. Even though they may not recognize it at this point. Because it's all a perception of who they are. 
And so when someone shifts and grows and, and, and taps into self-empowerment, it's natural for the ones around us to lash out and think you're changing. You're becoming someone else. I don't recognize you anymore. You know, you're, you're, you're trying to change me. Uh -uh, I'm trying to change. I'm, I'm not trying. I'm changing myself. I'm enhancing who I am and tapping into my own frequency. And when we don't come back at someone with that same reaction, it sets a different tone. We don't have to react. All we have to do is just say, you know, enough's enough. And, when, and the beauty of the humanistic way of life is we don't even have to say anything. Um, I, I like that a lot most of the time. <laughs> You know, it's just like, it, it's just about changing our thought process. The words that we use. Choose words at a higher vibration, family. Don't talk about yourself in a low tone anymore. Because you are not that frequency unless you choose to be. I love you to the moon. Have a good day.